What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing showcasing Regulation H teams for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And in today's video, we are showcasing Metagross and Choice Band Me as Karata. Now, I've been having a ton of fun on the Regulation H ladder. It feels like the teams are so fresh and it feels like the meta is just perfect, right? It feels like it's perfect. But we've been rocking out with Incineroar and Volbum a lot. But in today's video, we're not touching e either of them. Gonna be a fun one. Let's talk about Miascarada, top left hand corner, rocking Protean as its ability with the choice span as its item. It's got Flower Trick, Knock Off, Triple Axle, and Play Rough, alongside with that Grass Terror type to do even more damage with Flower Trick. We got Metagross in the bottom left hand corner, rocking Clear Body and the Assault Vest as its item. It's got Bullet Punch, it's got Psychic Fangs to take out Screens, which is one of my favorite moves because I hate dealing with Screens. So with Psychic Fangs, I could just break it. Then we got Stomp and Catch him and Heavy Slam for our final move. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Talonflame, Primarina, Alcremi, and Hydrogrind. Talonflame going to be a great Tailwind setter, alongside with a big time damage dealer, considering it has acrobatics and no item, so that acrobatics damage will be doubled because we have no item. We have Primarina, nice little special attacker, can deal with Dantoso and Tatsugiri with Haze. We got Alcreme for, you know, support, decorate for attack boost, and helping hand for damage boost. And last but not least, we got Hydrogrind, top tier Pokemon within Regulation H. Should be a fun one. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's get after it. Let's go hop into match number one. Going up against a pretty odd team here in match number one. They got Grafia, Araquanid, Quillfish, alongside with Rapscaba, Reveroom, and Pinchurchin. Again, a weird team, but we're looking to get after it. Looking for a first win in today's video. But um, who should we actually lead here? Hmm. Hmm. We can go into like Talonflame, or I can just get straight after maybe with like Metagross and Alcreme. Actually, Metagross and Alcreme don't really go together because I have clear bot. So, do I just go Metagross instead? I think Metagross would be a better like back end support Pokemon. So maybe just going into like Hydreigon Alcreme could be good for us. We could boost special attack. Really start doing big time damage with Decorate. That could be pretty good for us. That could be pretty good. I definitely want Metagross and. Meow Scarada, but I don't know if I should eat any of them. I think that's more of like a back end support. So, yeah, I'm gonna go Hydreigon with Alcreme alongside the Meow Scarada and Metagross for late game. I think that can work wonders. Let's do it. Let's get after it. They got a few poison types, so I really don't want to bring Primarina out here. And Talonflame is more for speed control, and I feel like our Pokemon are already decently fast enough compared to their Pokemon. So, I think speed control is kind of just like a waste of a slot. So, I like the team that we did bring. So, Alcreme. Alongside with Hydreigon, let's see who they end up leading here. I'm gonna go Grafia and Rapscaba. Shiny Rapscaba still because it's like full gold bug, right? He's looking sick. He's looking so sick. He's bug and psychic and Grafia is poison normal. Yeah. Poison normal and yeah, bug and psychic. Alright. So from here, I mean, I got Dark Pulse. So I can just rip Rapska. I could go for Decorate here. You probably have Fake Out, don't you? You might. You have a lower voice, but you know, we're gonna go for that Decorate boost right into my, uh, my Hydreigon, and we're going to see a Terror type pop out here early, probably from Rapska here. Is it Rapska? It is going to be Rapska. Rapscaba, Rapska. And he's going to go into that normal Terror type. So he's looking to just go nice little defensive. I feel like they have like a weird combo up their sleeve that I'm scared of. Nasty Pot. Yeah, yeah there, there it is. Nasty Pot on Grafia. That's looking a little scary. And you're faster than everybody. Dark Pulse now flies. Does decent damage. Can I get a flinch? A flinch would be lovely. A flinch would be lovely. And he's going to end up pop a trick room. And actually, that works out fine because your Grafia is the fastest on the field. It is by far the fastest on the field. I could Terrasilize if I want to into Steel. Um, does that help me out in any situation? I doubt you have any fairy moves. I think we just stay typing. I'm going to a trick room meteor in that slot. And I could go... I could swap, maybe. I'm just gonna go for a lower voice. Try to do some damage on the Rapska. He's gonna go for a baton pass here. So he's switching in, giving those, na those nasty pot boosts into a different Pokemon. And as long as it's not a fairy type, this Jerko Meteor should just send this thing to the wall, right? Pinchurchin. Yeah, I mean, Pinchurchin probably dies out to this. Plus, Rapska's got something up his sleeve. Let's see. What you got cooking here? 
Palm Mine. All right, this is kind of getting out of hand here. <laughs> this is kind of getting out of hand. We don't like this. We do have Miyasuke out in the back end, which is great for all these stat boosts. But can I land a Strike Meteor? I really need to land a Strike of Meteor. I really need to land a Strike of Meteor. And I do. I love you, Hydreigon. I love you, Pinchurchin. Gone. That Nasty Pot boost. Gone. Our special attack does drop, but it goes back to normal, considering we had that decorate boost onto our uh, Hydreigon. That's good. That's good news. So they still have Trick Room up. Rafia doesn't seem like it's doing much. It seems like it's more of just like a baton pass Pokemon. And Araquanid is going to come out here. The Araquanid, Bug type, going to be super effective onto Dark. Did we Thrash Slice into like Steel here? Yes, I'm down. And I'm also down to rip like a Flash Cannon into you. And then go for another Decorate Boost. Well, you know, I could just Protect here and Decorate Boost on top of that. Because I'm trying to waste out Trick Room turns. And Decorate is like a weird thing. Decorate, Decorate, however you pronounce it. I think it's Decorate. But, um, it's a weird move that actually goes through Protect. So I can Protect my Hydreigon and still get that plus two boost. So I can waste out Trick Room turns. I can send it this way. You're probably going for a Revival Blossom, which ooh, could be tough for us. But I knew you were going to go for like a Bug Move into the slot. So let's see if they end up reviving Pinchurch. And I don't really mind it too much. If you do, he's going to end up recovering, which is, I mean, I guess that's fine. I'm going to still be able to go plus two here. And this next turn, I can Terrastalize my Hydreigon. And I could try to launch another Draco Meteor into that Rabska slot. Or I can just take out a Rackman. But I'd rather take out this thing, considering it has Revival Blessing. I'm going to do that. Wait, did I Terrastalize? I have to make sure I Terrastalize. Terrastalize Steel. Go into Draco Meteor. I'm going to Decorate Boost again. And kind of just go from there. All right, cool. Cool, so they use Terra. We finally use Terra. We're wasting out these Trick Room turns really well. We got rid of Pinchurch, and our opponent just keeps trying to set up. Again, we have Flower Trick Miascarada, which I probably just should have saved my Terra for that. But I think we can get more value out of this uh, Hydra right here. So I'm going to keep ripping with it. There goes Leech Life. Soak that all day. Thank you, Steel Typing. Psychic is going to fly here. Dealing some probably solid damage into this Pokemon. Yeah, about half. Do I Decorate Boost again? Thank God the uh, Outcrame actually goes first. Now I'm plus four. Now I'm plus four, so as long as I land a Strike of Meteor night night, and I do. See you later, Rapska, get on out of here. And we're sitting in a great position here, match number one. Beautiful position, playing this one well. So they have Grafi in the back end. Their last really big time attacker is going to be this Rackwinded. I'm just going to Drake a Meteor down. I'm just going to Drake a Meteor down. I have leftovers, I can always protect again. Um, Depending on how many turns are left in Trick Room, we might just protect here. We might just launch a protect. Let's see, it should be one, right? It is one. Yeah, we're just going to protect my boy. Protect, and uh, do I deal some damage here? I could double protect, but I'd rather deal some damage, and I wouldn't mind if Alcremie actually dies out here. So, I'm just going to rip another protect. We set the last turn of Trick Room. And, hold up. Wait a minute. This thing goes for a substitute. That's a, that's a little scary. He's going to liquidation over on this slot. Do you die? I don't mind that you died out. I really don't. I'd rather get out of different Pokemon regardless. So now I can bring out my boy, Metagross. Metagross. Yeah, yeah, we love us some Metagross. Trick Room gone. Let's go Metagross. We have that 8v Assault Vest. But Arachnid's physical attacking. Grafia looks like it's special attacking, considering it has a nasty plot, right? And then I'm plus 2, so I'm just going to stick with Dark Pulse here. I'm going to double down to this Arachnid. I could obviously do this, but you are what's called right now. You are substituted up, so I'd rather double down on Raccoonade, just get rid of it. And Grafia's gonna go for a parting shot into my clear body Metagross. So this is a perfect turn for us. Dark Pulse gonna rip up some damage. Almost KO. Can Psychic Fangs deliver the final shot? It does. Now we're sitting in a 3v1 situation. My Hydreigon and my Metagross should have no problem taking out this, uh... Should have no problem taking out this Grafia. Because from here, I can just rip a Dark Pulse, and then on top of that, Psychic Fangs can just finish this match off. And they finally cancel the match, so 1-0 to get things started. We're thriving out with this team so far. Moving on to match number two, and now we're talking. Check out the team we're going up against. Miascarada, just like us. Garchomp, Baxcalibur, Kilowatchel, who I love. I need to showcase for Regulation H. Um, Tinkaton and Annihilate Best are final two Pokemon. Really cool squad. Really like it. Should be a solid battle both ends here. No Roll Boomer Incineroar. Love it. We love it. But um, they're probably going to lead like Kilowatchel here. Or Tailwind Control, so I might want to go into my bird 
and I think I am going to go into my bird, even though electric is looking scary. What's your terror type? You got ghost, which is decent. It's decent here, but again, Kilowatt are pretty scary Pokemon. Um, from here, they have a few dragon Pokemon, so I, 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 I think you would be, yeah, you're going to be really good. You're also super effective into Meowth, Karata, and Annihilate. Yeah, you're going to be really good here, so I'm going to be able to go into Primarina. Do I lead Primarina? That's the real question. I really don't want to lead both of these and then have just, like, that Kilowatch will just rip up into both of them. So I might want to go into somebody who can deal with Kilowatch. Now, Kilowatch doesn't really have a lot of weaknesses. I do have Triple Axle Choice Band Miascarada, and I actually like that. So I am going to end up going Miascarada. I'm going to end up going Primarina in the back end. And last but not least, do we go Metagross? Yeah, I like Metagross with the Assault Vest, too. I could definitely call it clutch, but I just looked at it. They got a lot of physical attackers. But I really like Metagross's move, move pool here. Bull Punch can always come up clutch, assess, especially if someone's on 1 HP. It'll be super effective into the back caliber, which is nice. We also have Stomping Tantrum to deal with, like, Tinkathon. This is a solid Pokemon all around. We, we love, we love ourselves some Metagross action. But let's check out the lead. Is it going to be Kilowattro? It is. So this is, a, this is not a bad lead for me. It's not a bad lead for me. This Triple Axle actually... Ooh, I can... Hmm... I can actually get after this, after this. I don't have Protect. Um, who do I take out first, though? I could Terrasilize here. Because what I'm thinking here is just Tailwind Triple Axle into... Into Garchomp. Get rid of that. Do I Ghost Tower here, or do I just let the bird die? That's the real question. Actually, you might just go for Tailwind, so you know what? I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to go straight into Triple Axle to finish off this Garchomp. I want this Garchomp gone. I want him gone. So I think we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind here. Triple Axle flies. Don't tell me I miss. Okay, I just turned into a nice type. Beautiful. Bye-bye, Garchomp. Bye-bye, Garchomp. Get it on out my face. So we're really hoping Kilowatch will go for Tailwind here. If not, I'm going to lose my bird. No big deal. And let's see. Triple Axle flying. He's going to go for a Super Cell Slam. And I survive it. And I survive it. The bird getting after it. So now they don't have Tailwind, which is huge. We got some speed cooking. They can fake me out. I can quick guard. I can quick guard. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, you want to fake me out? Go ahead. I got quick guard. Going right after his killer watch roll. Quick guard, baby. Quick guard. Choice band, triple axle. Kicking it right now. They don't even go for fake out. They don't even go for fake out. So we're taking out the killer watch roll, no problem. Wow, choice band, Miyazakurata does damage. And last one was a crit, but still, you were dead regardless. Get it, Miyazakurata. Get it. Get it, Miyazakurata. Player off going to fly here. Luckily, we changed into Ice type, which is gorgeous. Still does a nice chunk of damage, but we're sitting in a really good position. Their Miascarada comes out, and if they don't Thrastalize, my Acrobatics is just going to kill it, unless you are going for Sucker Punch. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm actually just going to double down to Miascarada. I look to make this match quick. Acrobatics going to KO, isn't it? Oh my lord. Melting our opponent here. Absolutely melting our opponent here. Absolutely melting our opponent. Triple Axle. How much damage is going to do? It actually does a bit more than it should, being not very effective. That's great damage. That is great damage. Gigaton Hammer going to fly. We say bye bye to Miascarada. And uh, almost got the sweep, but not going to get it. Not going to get it. We are not going to get it, but again, I can just bring out Metagross here. Drop a nice lovely stop and catch. We have Tailwind set up, all that good stuff. And this match was way quicker than I thought it would be. I thought we were going to have a good solid match, but now nah, your boy Jeans is just absolutely ripping. And honestly, I can just go into a Feather Dance here. Drop your physical attack. And they just canceled the match, so 2-0. Let's go hop to our third and final. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against another Regulation H team, and we are just kicking it today with this Meowth and Metagross squad. They got Aloha Ninetales alongside with Hisuian Guja. Now, Hisuian Guja is one of those weird Pokemon that it just bulks itself up and is a pain in the neck to get off the field. So, we're going to have to watch out for that. They also have Jolteon, Hisuian Decidueye, and then they got uh, Frostmoth and Hisuian Arcanine. So, a lot of Hisuian forms here. Three of them, to be exact. Um, but who are we leading here? They have Weather Control. We can't really do much about that. I could just, you know, lead to attack. And I think Metagross is going to be a solid lead here, considering it's super effective onto a few of them. Um... If we go into Miascarada with that choice band, that could be good for us. But I'm thinking of just going instead with like... Now, you know what? I am going to go Miascarada. We're going for big time attacking here. 
Actually, I'd rather go Primarina in case you lead Intimidate. If I go Primarina, I will go Miyashikarada, and I will bring Hajigan in the back end. We're going more for like an offensive attack here. So I don't think we really need Decorate here. I don't think we really need a Helping Hand. I don't think we need Tailwind. I just think we need pure offense to beat this team. So I'm bringing all of my offensive attackers here. We're ready to roll out. Looking for a 3-0 perfect record. Started off 2-0. First match was solid. Second match was just elite by my Talonflame and Miyashikarada. Just doing big time damage, but... In Terrasilize right there. Where they go? End up leading these two. I don't mind this lead for us. I mean, they get weather control with no problem. Um, if they want to set up a screen, go ahead and set up an Aurora Veil. I'm just going to Psychic Fangs through. I could Bullet Punch, actually, and just look to maybe KO. I do have Water Terror, which could be good, but, um... Yeah, I mean, I, I could just Psychic Fangs next turn. I'm going to go for a Bullet Punch. Look to do as much damage as I possibly can, and... Probably just, uh, rip a and leave here. Yeah, I'm cool with this. So if you want to set up a Roar Belt, go ahead. I mean, in a turn or two, I would just Psychic Fangs. Maybe I should Psychic Fangs this turn, but it's fine. It'd be like that. He ends up withdrawing Frost Moth. So this could be a good turn for us. Because Bullet Punch can do some damage. Bullet Punch can do some damage. He protects. Oh, man. He just gets the free swap. He gets the free swap. That could just going to be real tough for me to deal with. I think at this point, we just have to start deleting this right side and deal with Gujarat when we can. Gujarat's just going to be so tough to deal with. Oh, please. Let's switch into, switch into Stomping Cantrum here. I feel like we have to. I, th I think we have to deal some damage here. Yeah, I'm going to go for second. I can, I can always haze them, too, so... No, we're just going to start attacking this slot. If they want to set up a Roarville, go, go right ahead. Be my guest. Set up a Roarville. I'll eventually break the screen. But yeah, you know what, Gudra? We're going we're gonna to attack it here. I kind of forgot I had Haze, too, so that kind of sparked a little interest in me to go after Gudra. Because if it wants to bulk up here, the next turn we can just Haze. Take, take all of its stat changes away. There's the Roarville. Got a Sucky Fangs next turn. Sampy Tetrum, just give me a crit or something. Sheesh. No damage whatsoever. Psychic Noise is going to stop the healing, which is really good. So we can't heal for a couple turns. And he's going to go for a Heavy Slam. Which we end up soaking. Okay, so he's not boosting his stats. Can't heal right now. But Psychic Fangs take out this terrain. And on top of that, do we just protect here? You know, I'm just going to Dazzle Let's just keep chunking up damage. Let's just keep chunking up damage. So if Gujar attacks me, that's fine. No big deal. I mean, he can attack me, KO me. As long as he's not, like, boosting stats right now, we should be fine. Moonblast flies through here. We soak that. You're going to go for another Heavy Slam? You might, but I got my Berry. Bring me back up to a little bit above half. 113. We could soak another Heavy Slam. Psychic Fang's going to fly. Bye-bye at -bye Bell, which is great news for us. And that's only going to launch. So slowly chipping up damage. Goes for the shelter. This is where we go for the haze. This is where we say, yeah, yo, enough's enough. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. We're going for the haze. Enough is enough. So we're just going to second fangs this thing down again in case he wants to go for another war veil. We'll haze, get rid of all stat boosts. We're just not dealing with it. We're not dealing with it. Another moon blast flies. It's going to deal some nice damage. A special attack does drop, which kind of hurts my soul. Psychic Fangs does launch. Picks up the KO. Beautiful. Lovely. We don't have to worry about Aurora Bell anymore. We're going to go for a Haze. We're going to say, Ayo, hey, those shelter boosts, gone. Get it out my face. <laughs> haze is so good, especially in this uh in this format. A lot of Pokemon love this to boost their stats. And you have Body Press, which I soak no problem. I soak no problem. A little bit of Body Press action. I soak no problem. So now you're sitting here, no defense boost, uh, no war veil. I can now just launch a Stomping Tantrum and maybe double down with Dazzle Gleam. Or I might swap Primarina. It really depends on who they go into. Because weather's almost done too, so that's another good sign for us. You go back into Frost Moth, now you're going to go into Jolteon. Jolteon comes out here. So Jolteon's going to come out here, we're going to go launch a Stomping Tantrum into Gudra and... Honestly, let's just protect here. Let's just protect, because we know Jolteon's going to be attacking this Primarina. Let's just, let's just protect it here. Let's just protect it. And no, you go for Combine. Alright, looks like we gotta go for a Haze. Looks like we gotta go for a Haze. Looks like we gotta go for a Haze. That's looking terrifying. 
We can stop and catch up KO. That's not. Ooh, ouch. Life, dude, really. Really. Did my psychic noise run out? It did. Hmm. Snow stops. Good news for us. Great news for us. And do we just go for another haze? He's taking out Primarina, which really sucks for me. That's looking scary. Way more combine boosted. Oh yeah, that's looking terrifying. We're gonna go after you now. I can't pull off a second noise. I'd love to hit this Gujra. I'm tired of leftovers like do. Could get out of hand real quick. I'm surprised you didn't attack him for the calm mind boost. Okay, we still have Miascarada in the back end, which is good. We have Hydreigon. A lot of calm mind boost going crazy, and this is where he ends up thrasalizing Jolteon. Oh man, don't be flying. Do not be flying. It's ice. Okay, it's ice. It's ice. Ice Jolteon. Coming at you. He's gonna Thunderbolt level me. Going for another life orb. Uh, no, we're not life orb. Life do. Oh no, getting scary real quick. We still have Terra, which we can use. Stop the we're gonna launch. We do have Bullet Punch now to kind of deal with Jolteon, and I think Bullet Punch can honestly just KO it. So I think just going into like, maybe like Meowth's out of here, or even just Hydreigon and Bullet Punch into Jolteon and leveling this, uh, and leveling this Gudra. But actually just win us the game. A little bit of ice terror. Bad news with bull punch launching at you. So I'll go for bull punch. I will launch a. Do I terrestrialize here and steal? I could. Steal's not bad. You know what? No, we're gonna save our terror. We're just gonna go into a trick of meteor. I don't really need terror because I think bull punch KOs. If it doesn't and Jolteon KOs my Hydreigon, then we could just bull punch it again and KO it. But yeah, it cleans it up no problem. B punch for my Metagross. That's why I love Metagross. Such a solid Pokemon. It really is. They pick up the KO. See you later. The Zerka Meteor launches. And it does not take out the Gujra. Kind of sad news there. You go for another life do. Then you go for body press. That might KO me. Nope. Pretty solid Soaky chair. I mean, he's not bulked up on defense, which is good news for us. We have leftovers. Popping a little bit. We can stop the tantrum Gujra for the KO. I could swap Hydreigon. Hmm. What do I want to do? Let's see who comes out here. Frost Moth. I should have known it was Frost Moth too. Frost Moth. Um, I want to get rid of Gujra first. Someone's going to go after Gujra. And let's just protect Hydreigon here. And they just cancel match. So another 3 0 perfect record in Regulation H. Absolutely killed it with this Metagross and Meowth squad. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, me, Alskarada, and Metagross lighting it up on this Regulation H team. Obviously, Ranked isn't out yet. These battles were on the casual ladder, but uh, September 1st, when Ranked comes out, we're definitely going to be thriving out, revisiting some of these Pokemon on the Ranked ladder and seeing how they're doing. But uh, right now, I've been having a blast using these Regulation H teams, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying them as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.